Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. And apparently, I have a girl that doesn't like me at the moment. Thought I heard something else too. Did I not? I had a wandering horde come through and ended up causing a screamer also. So that was interesting. Give me the dogs. I think we'll be able to go ahead and do our farm pretty fast. And I think I have an idea of how I want to do it, but I'm still debating on it. Okay. Looks like we're okay as far as all of this goes. Now what we are doing now is we are still working on this stuff. This is what I've got so far. I've went ahead and started like enforcing all the stuff around and I replaced that little column right there. So it's going to extend the wall out. And I think that's how I want it to do. So I extend the wall out to here. And then that's where the um, fortress is going to end up being fully starting to come into play. Now we went ahead and decided to move up to using the rebar at the moment. And right here, I don't think I can make them with this. Let's see, shape. Um, I wonder how this will look. So if I made it like that, so made like uh, two of those, and then what is that? That's just the one fourth block. Look, hmm. let's see how I want to make one of those. So if I made it like, no, I didn't mean to do that. So if I did it like that. Um, advance. I didn't mean to do that, but that does give me a couple ideas. So like that, and then, so that's a one four block. Is that right? So R shape one fourth. So that'd be this. So then I put this in the middle. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So can you? Oh, I need wood. It'd kind of give like a contrast to it in a way. On this center piece, kind of, and do that on all four sides. That might not be that bad. Upgrade it to to. Uh, stone and then colored a different color. That might work. That might work. But anyways, so this is where we're going as far as this goes. So upgrade that. Upgrade that. That. And see, that ends up giving me That brings out the where the stairs are right here. That brings it all the way up to right here. And then we're going to put the wall right here. So I think that would be pretty good. I just got to bust out some more of that stuff over there. And of course, this is going to up, like upgrade me a lot. I think I've already got two levels just doing stuff like this. So we'll put the wall right here, like a small wall. We're going to build the towers on the corners, and we'll put like a small wall going to the next place, and then we'll put the plants in between, and then we'll build the fort in the middle. I think that's how I'm going to go with it. 
because this would kind of be like the the open area in a way because you get the stairs is going to interrupt a lot of it so really the tower is only going to be in between that so that might work and of course we're not having to worry about horde raids and everything so it's not like it's that big of a problem but like before I end this this series I'll probably end up having a horde attack so whatever day it ends up being on I got a lot of ideas for this and I think I ended up starting a little bit late which is not really that big of a deal but we need an auger I don't think I can build one yet I haven't found any place that is giving me one or access to one yet. But we still got some exploring to do. Let's see. How much? We still got 7,000 concrete mix. Only got 33 of the. Uh, rebar frames. I probably need to see if I have any downstairs. So, basically, a wall will be. Hold on. No, I didn't mean to push that. I meant to push this. So whatever the tower ends up being, let's say the tower ends up being like right there. Kind of like that and you just walk up and you can look over. And so the wall will go about, I might have it a little bit wider. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Two. That's four in between. So one, two, three, four, five. So is that what it did? One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. That might be a little bit too big. But it would kind of... You walk up the stairs here and you can go up to the tower or you can go ahead... See, I'm going to have to put stairs going down too. So it might end up being where it walks into this and goes straight in this. So it's not going to be smooth sailing as far as like coming over to the other part I've got a slight idea in my head how I want it to look or what I want to do but nothing's per like permanently said I haven't like drawn out anything or anything like that this is normally when I end up making the bases and everything it's always been you know horde bases what can survive the horde and now it's kind of being like well what is what works and what what doesn't work and as far as build wise so it's taking me out of my element a little bit which i like let's see we're gonna take these and then Bring these out. I need to get some wood and see how that part down there looks really quick. Let's get some wood. Let's see if we have any more of these. Yep, we got some more rebar frames. Do we have some more? Got some more sand. Yep, got some more cement. No more cement in there. So this is like my stockpile of stuff at the moment. You know, we got some wood. Let's see, upgrade that. I've almost got all the walls on the outside upgraded, as well as our interior. And I think I'm gonna leave this m wood and these stairs maybe would I haven't decided yet on the stairs 
I think I'm going to try some of the doors that they've added in through the mods and everything. Or that I've added in, sorry. To put into here, into these little rooms, instead of doing like the regular doors. I know I've got regular doors on some of them at the moment, but I think I'm going to replace them. Because we got quite a few doors that I think might look pretty good. Let's see. And then that one. Alright. Upgrade some more of this. And if you need to level at any time, like you're playing and you just want to go ahead and level up, this is the way to do it. Just build and upgrade. You'll level up so fast. Let's see. Then we'll take it. See, I already leveled again. And of course, my guy's hungry. Uh, take that. Take that. That one's almost done. Okay. I don't know if I like that little arch but it's kind of matching all the sides so I'm gonna leave it and we still got the hole in the ground whatever we end up deciding to do with that which at the moment I don't have any plan for it I was gonna make like a tunnel going out from each one of them but I decided not to do that my ideas keep on changing of course okay up. And then I think this is the only uh, big armor door we have for out here. Oop. All these. I love the nail gun. At least we got the nail gun to upgrade a little bit faster. Ow. Now what I, okay, I also thought about doing is right here we got the the stone pillar going up. We might do the same thing on up top. And I have some better roll doors too we might install later on. Okay. Let's go back in here. Now let's see how this ends up looking when we upgrade it to wood. We might end up... Hmm. So... Oh, I can't! Oh, okay. I did pick up wood, didn't I? Yeah, I got wood right there. So you can't upgrade this. Oof, I don't like that. That doesn't really do me any good then. Get some food in us. And then get some fluid in us. We'll eat some more of the red tea instead. Okay, so that's not good. I thought that would look pretty cool. Now, wait, do we have anything in here? So, our shape. Um, no, but what about, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back down to this. What about, um, open the door, building blocks, let's look at these. These might actually give us something. Do we still got our axe on us? Because we're going to chop that up. Yeah, we got an axe. Eek. Kind of hope that would. I, don't know. Hmm. I mean, I could leave it wood, but then. It wouldn't work out. Okay, so. Take this. Let's see what this ends up offering. Uh. 
Well... What if I did something like this? I'm not so inclined, but like this one right here? Kind of. And then do advanced. It's not going to work like I want it to, is it? No, I was thinking about putting it on its corner facing out, but it's on the side. So it has to be... Hmm. Corner filler. Corner base. Corner top. I don't think I'm going to be able to really do anything. Really advanced. I mean, I could do... I could do something like this. Is it still advanced? I don't know. Let's go advanced. Like that. And it kind of gives it like a little a section out in a way. And that might not be too bad. I, of course that takes up the whole block so I can't put like something right there. But it's either that one or the curved in one, and I think I'm going to go with that one for right now. And if I decide to, well, I'm not going to decide to do that. I might put a light right here. Make one of those uh, lanterns and put a lantern in each corner. I think that would be pretty good to light it up. They don't take any electricity or anything. This might not be that bad. I mean, like that. Kind of feels like it's opened up a little bit, but not too much. It's still stable. I think that's what we might end up doing. Kind of limited on my corner pieces and what I can end up doing. I'm probably going to put... Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to put a lip going here. I might put a lip. That little curved down lip, I might put that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And then right here... I keep on hitting the wrong button. Let's see, shape, do you want, should I put that one or just should I put a regular block? I think we should go with a regular block. So it'd be like this right here, coming down on both sides to kind of support it. And then we can build something fancy going underneath like I did on my last one to make it look like it's curved and everything and maybe put a spotlight in the front or I could like put it to like this and then come down like this and put a turret right here so it'll be like a turret pointing straight out I mean you're getting It'd be on top of that block. Or I could do that on top too. And have them pointing straight down. So if I'm having to come in, I could flip the switch downstairs or something and it shoot. The whole idea is like right here where that is, is going to be dug down. I'm thinking about five down. Thinking that might work. I don't know, this might work right here too. So if I do it like that. Even if I didn't put like um, a machine gun right there, if I put a machine gun up top, like it comes across, see, I can, whoa. Why wouldn't it? Oh, because it's taking up, well, no.
thought I could put. See, now it works. It won't work right there, though. Interesting. I could flip a machine gun turn upside down and have it pointing straight down. That might be an idea. And just put some kind of decoration in between right here. That might not be too bad of an idea. Like I said, I'm just... I'm going with it and I'm changing it as I go, I know. We need to go ahead and go around and make all this iron. Because I think the center part, I think I pretty much have how I want it. I don't think that I want to change it anymore. Oh, I just had it. Maybe, come on. There you go. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, what I've mentioned before in this, I kind of dread in some ways them finally making the final version of Seven Days to Die because, like, every time they've done an update so far, it's been like a new game. So I paid, what, $10 way back when? And I've got a game that has changed so much over the years. It was like a new game every time. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess so. We'll do these right here. We could put a spotlight in there. I don't know. I'm still playing around. I'm kind of thinking like a crossover. I don't know. I'm... I've got two different things in mind. If anybody's ever watched the, like, Gargles cartoon from way back when, I think it was back in the 90s, you know, it had, like, an advanced sub-base and everything, and then on the very top was an old medieval castle. It's not going to be anything like that, but, I mean, that's kind of what I've got in mind as I'm making this, and as I'm changing stuff as I go. It's kind of... That's what I'm thinking about. I just wanted to do something, build something where in seven days I didn't have to be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting murdered at the moment. So that was kind of what the idea was. Give me that. Ooh, that was almost. So. Pop that in there. And plus, I wanted to play it with some mods because uh, I love the spikes. Here she is again. Our favorite female. Where are you? And I like the mod that I added in to make it so like foggy and dark I mean this in my opinion is how it should, probably should be because that's kind of terrifying running out there during a horde night or something or even just a regular night dang I had it I had it again Another thing I want to mess around with, which in all my times of playing, I haven't really messed around with too much, is the uh, the pressure plates. I've never really messed around with them. And I kind of want to mess around with it to be like that's the, the pit kind of thing. I think that should be... I'm pretty sure you can still make a pit now, like a normal drop pit, and still be okay. Now, underground base, since they go ahead and dig now, it's probably not as ideal as it what it used to be. I used to love making underground bases. I 
And then another series I thought about playing is just like extreme hard level find a place and you know it's a 30 minute day and that's what we just kind of live off of that we just live in one place that's the one thing I like about seven days of die you can play so many different game modes it's just like whatever your imagination ends up you know providing Oh my gosh, I'm out of cement. Oh my god. That was like tons used. So yeah, we got to definitely go ahead and have some more cement going. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw these blocks into here. And we'll throw that clay into there. And let's see. Cement. And then cement. And then cement. But yeah, I think that's going to end up kind of ending it right here. I got to go farm some more resources. Pretty sure I don't have enough stuff to go ahead and get the motorcycle yet. Let's look at this real quick. Uh, to Molta motorcycle. All right. So I need chassis handlebars. We might have that. Forged steel. Uh, I don't know if we have enough forged steel. We got 53 for still. Eek. Okay. Here, take that and that. For still. Let's look. Oh, why didn't I get everything else? Hold on. What was it? Motor. Electrical parts, headlight, duct tape, mechanical parts. Same thing on this one. And then leather. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Electrical. Okay, there's nothing in there I need. I need electrical parts, which we have full, uh, mechanical parts, leather, duct tape, we got a decent amount of duct tape, and glue. Um, parts in here, uh, headlight, uh, all we got in here, oh, we have motorcycle handlebars. Ooh. So all I have to make is the chassis. Is that correct? Moto. Yeah, okay. So just gotta make the chassis. So we make one of those. And then we need engine and lead corp battery. I kinda wish these were modular still. I don't need this anymore. And I think I only need two of those. And a battery. Uh let's take the one battery and the engine. Get the motorcycle up and going. That's going to take a 40 seconds. So let's look at the other um, cars. I don't know where they would be. I don't think it's going to be underneath ammo. It's not going to be under that. Not clued. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. What is that? Oh, and connect the na the Nasgen, Nasgen, Nasgen. Sign. Couch, stove, pool table. See, we can make all this decoration stuff. TV. I guess it was under here. Or it was under here. Hardened chest. Mmm. Wonder how long that would last. What is that? Metal pipe valve. I gotta find out where that is. Um, the other cars were. Motorcycle. Bicycle. Here it is. Yeah, the charger. Like, you know, to make the charger. Charger accessories. Charger chassis. Let's look at Charger. Charger! These are locked right now. So I can't make either one of those anyways. So let's look at Motor. 
So we've got the chassis. And boom! Motorcycle is crafting. It's going to take one minute, but we'll have it next time. So there you go. Not bad. So anyways, until next time, I'm Shaking Hort. <laughs> I shall catch you later.